That was a good shot, though. Watch your head! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we build ballista if you could already do that? I had no idea I could throw that far. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to make some homemade artillery for your backyard games. Instructions say you hold on to the back of the dart, okay. you toss it, we're just trying to go for whoever's closest to the circle. You don't just like chuck it? You can, I suspect it's gonna like wobble a lot more if all you right, do that. All right, all right. So just up and... Not, what? No. Okay, Aha. no. First round to me. <laughs> but here's the thing, lawn darts is fun, but it's I think okay. it could be better. And like most things, I think it would be improved with some artillery. Absolutely. Most things are improved with that. Most things, yes. Most things. Uh, so today we're going to take a look at how to build a mounted, swiveling, pivoting, well basically a crossbow. Here's the basic idea. We wanted to take lawn darts up to the next level, which involved building a giant mounted crossbow to shoot the darts. Let's take a look at how to build one. So if you're making a ballista, that is actually something that uses torsion springs. Now there was an old Greek piece of machinery that was originally used that a ballista was based off of that used, if I remember correctly, it's called a uh, fluxion power. So it's basically the flex of the bow as it's pulled backwards and it was an oxybelis? I don't know Oxy how you pronounce it in Greek, but... Oh, it's O-X-Y-B-E-L-E-S. So yeah, basically the difference is whether it's a bow, like a bow and arrow type of bow that's just flexing, or, or a spring. the the yeah, the Roman, the ballista, what that would actually use is twisted cords and you would pull, the bow itself wouldn't bend. It was just the cords that were twisting tighter and tighter that would add the spring to it. Um, so we're not doing that, we are doing the bow, so it's closer related to the oxabellas, or however we say it. The Greek one that was the precursor to the ballista, but we're still gonna call it a backyard ballista because it sounds a lot cooler. Does sound good. We're gonna be using just pretty much everything is from Home Depot, got pretty much everything there, and we're gonna try and build this sucker. Let's go for it. Here's some stuff. Let's take a look at the stuff we've got. Kay. We've got some two by fours. Yep. Uh, these are just eight foot two by fours. We've got a little over two and a half of them, and I believe that'll be enough. I did build a prototype of this to figure out. And so two and a half, eight foot two by fours is what it took before. This right here is a piece of three inch diameter PVC that I've cut in half. And I did this on the table saw. Just cut one side, flipped it over, cut the other side. Um, now even like this, it doesn't quite fit our lawn darts. This is just what showed up as the best option when I searched lawn darts on Amazon. And you can see that it uh, doesn't quite fit into that three inch pipe. So we're actually going to split this in half again so we have quarter round pieces. We have a piece of PVC conduit. This is the three quarter inch conduit PVC. That's the stuff that's designed to go outside. That's why it's gray. The white stuff will break down in sunlight over time. The gray stuff is designed not to do that. We've got these fiberglass driveway markers. We've got a six foot one and some four foot ones. This is how we're going to make the bow. We have a whole video on how to make a bow. So we're not gonna go over this part in too much detail, but basically we have pieces of the driveway markers secured to each other inside the PVC tube and that's how you make a bow. We've got a bundle of paracord. This stuff is like 350 at Walmart or Home Depot. It's not a perfect string for a bow. Ideally, a bowstring shouldn't have any stretch to it. Paracord does not have much stretch. I think it does have a little, but it works well for what we're doing. This is just uh, some metal strapping. It's sold as plumbing strapping. It's for hanging pipes and stuff. We're gonna use this to attach the bow to the body of the ballista. Here we have the hardware for what's called a Lazy Susan. It's if you have a circle in the middle of your table that you can turn, you can just put things on it and people can just turn it to grab them. This one costs about $5 and it says it has a load capacity of 400 pounds. That is of course directional, like from the top down. Okay. That pretty much covers the supplies. Uh, do you wanna get started making the bow? Sure. So this piece of three inch PVC was about four feet long and then we cut it into quarters. So we've got a four foot piece of PVC pipe cut into quarters. That's what we've got here. We then have two pieces of two by four that are shorter. It's about three inches shorter than our PVC and then about one inch shorter again. All of these measurements are vague because it doesn't necessarily matter exactly. Like the idea of how it goes together needs to be the same exact measurements. You can fudge it by an inch or so here and there. It's not going to really cause any problems. All 
All right, now we're going to mount all these pieces together. We're first going to have these pieces that we just cut in half on top of the slightly shorter two by four. There are a few ways that we're actually going to be able to shoot our little lawn darts here. And one of them involves having it with the fin pointed down. We want there to be enough space between the two pieces of a two by four that the fin can travel easily between them. And that's probably a little bit wider than the kerf of the blade. So these two pieces on top will likely overhang just a little bit from the board underneath, maybe an eighth of an inch on either side. So it's gonna be almost perfectly lined up, but not quite perfectly lined up. So we wanna just add screws, probably four of those per board to get that all lined up. And then once we have those attached, we're going to take our PVC and we're going to attach that as well, lining up the cut in the PVC right along with the cut in the wood. Oof. All right, we've got this, which is a very important part. It's what the bow is going to be attached to. It's where the lawn darts will launch out of, but this is kind of unwieldy. I guess we could just make a giant crossbow like this, but it's not the goal. We want it mounted. So we're gonna add some mounting points down at the bottom of it. I'm just gonna find the balance point here. I'm just gonna scoot it back a little bit because we are going to add the bow onto the front for a little bit more weight there. <laughs> These are going to act as part of the hinges. The other side of the hinge is going to be another piece of 2x4, so we need to make sure that 2x4 can easily fit in between those two. Now, we do need to put in the, the whole piece. It's going to be longer than this. But to figure out the length, we kind of first need the base. So we're going to build the base and then figure out what length of post stand we want for this. With our base built, you can see it uh, nice and spinny. So we can now choose how high up we want this to go. So with our chosen height, we're gonna cut this off right about there. I'm gonna try and drill this pivot point, not quite in the middle and definitely not on the lower part of this, more up toward the top, about the upper third. That way we should have room to trim off some of the two by four to let it pivot better. So now, before we bolt this in place, we can take this back and trim it off on the chop saw. We've got a pretty good range of motion there, more than we're really gonna need. Can't see uh, it really being necessary to shoot the bolt almost straight up or almost straight down. But if we want, we have the ability. All right, I'm gonna take the bolt out and mount this onto the platform and then put the bolt back in. All right, now these are what are gonna hold the bow in place. Nice. Now that we have these built, we're actually just playing lawn darts. Just. Lawn ballista dart, lawn bolts. Lawn bolts, lawn bolts. All right, let's see if we can actually hit that target. Fire the hole. Dang it, ah, Left. too far, too far. Left and too far. <gasps> also left. Man. Ah, too far right. Walking is the worst part of every sport. Too far. Either more up or less up, I'm not sure which. There you go. Nice. Huh. <laughs> nice, tore it apart. <laughs> <laughs> took the string off the bow. I took the string right off the bow. Three, two, one, fire. Guys, these are a lot of fun. We do want to put out just a word of caution and just a couple of notes about it. We were shooting them toward each other, 
uh, we kind of maxed out the range. We figured out exactly how far they could shoot, like at the very best, and then they were farther away than that. Um, but it generally, of course, you should not point them at people, animals, things that can break. We just had these pointed at the ground, the lawn. And there are a lot of things you could do to make these like bigger, stronger, better, of course. You know, you More could- More mobile, whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, you could add wheels. You could add something that locks the angle precisely in both directions. You could sand down the PVC so your string wasn't scratching and rubbing on it as much. There's a lot of things that you could do to make these stronger and better. It was probably like $35 of materials, maybe. It's really not that much. Like the, the two by fours is like $15. PVC, both of them is gonna get you up to like another 10 and then just miscellaneous hardware and some string. It's, it's really not that expensive and they are pretty fun. So if you want something to build, this might be a fun thing to do. Of course, if you are small and you need help, get permission, don't just start using power tools if you don't know how to use them. More fun way to play lawn darts in my opinion. <laughs> there you go. Guys, that's not all. We've always got more cool stuff for you to see. Don't forget to click that box right there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a cool video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.